Ish. Okay. Welcome everyone. This is our Dream Center Connect. I am so excited to um, host this awesome Zoom meeting with you today. Um, we get to see the Dream Center face to face. We get to see the kids. We get to get a tour of the building and it is going to be a great day. Um, I'm just going to swing it right over to Pastor George. He is the one showing the building there. And he is our um, overseer. Is that your position, George? Overseer of Kenya. And he just does a great job. And take it away, Pastor George. Yes, hello, everyone. My name is Pastor George. And uh, I'm here standing just outside the dream center. You can see home of all center. Uh, a baby rescue place. Uh, we've been here since 2015. But the work, uh, sorry, I think we are out here. There is some noise here. That's okay. But, we can uh, hear you. Keep going. Okay. Don't worry about the noise. We are out here. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Somebody was passing by with that trolley. Yeah, Hope of Hope, a baby rescue center that just started. I uh, started 2011 uh, on 5th. That is the official day that uh, we started bringing children in. But uh, the work in Kenya started way back in 2009. And so right now we are talking about 16 years, 16 years of work at, in Kenya. And uh, maybe you are asking, how did Home of Hope uh, start? How did we come up with uh, this? It is a vision of a baby that was abandoned and then was eaten by a dog uh, sometime back. Uh, that is around 2009. And then this story was aired on a national television and uh, it really captured so many people. And uh, we were wondering how, if this is the only story that we can see, but how many more that are out there? And so out of that, this was shared, uh, vision was shared and was put together. And uh, they, they, uh, this vision was put out in paper. We are so grateful that on, in 2010, uh, 2011 January, during the national, uh, the international prayer day, a vision was uh, passed and uh, a sponsor gave uh, around 10,000 US dollars that uh, would uh, say, how can this help with the rescue of the babies in uh, Kenya? And uh, since that, we rented a house in, uh, in, in Nairobi, uh, a, a four bedroom house. That is the place we started rescuing one baby at a time. And today we are talking about the great work that has grown in Kenya. And out of this, uh, also people gave and the land was purchased building was built and today as we speak right now 67 uh babies are being housed here that you're going to see so the story of homo bob is a, a story of love a story of care a story of people who are full of compassion we are so grateful for people like you that have given and are continuing giving to ensure that babies are taken care of here we have three signposts that we have set up in the slums and uh, which says, home of hope, love babies, don't throw away your child. And we have seen this signpost uh, where we receive at least 15, uh, 15 calls a day. Of course, for now, we have expanded in several slums. Uh, uh, that is, we have Kenya, we have around 26 slums, but four are major big slums. Those are the slums that we are operating into and uh, babies that have been thrown into the dump. We have a 30 acre dump that is uh, like seven, uh, around uh, 17 minutes to 20 minutes away, drive away from the Dream Center. This is where we have brought these children, but recently we have opened up to another, other, two other slums that are closer by. And these children have been rescued out of incest, abandonment, but the main thing is poverty. We are so grateful that Home of Hope is doing this. So we want to take you through uh, the inside of Home of Hope. Uh, Dream Center, where you are going to start meeting with these babies, uh, children, uh, we have from day old up to 
around 10 years old, and they are going to begin by singing to you, and then you can ask any question. I want to ask my, uh, uh, so that we can just get in to the center. Okay, one thing. Okay. These are the babies. These are the children. Sad that we can't hear it. I wonder if it's just like too loud and the, the mic is like muting them or something. I want to hear it so bad. Margie, are you unmuted? She might not even be able to hear. I 
I think they're trying to just figure out the audio still. I really want to hear it, but they're doing so good, aren't they? They're doing good dance moves. I don't know if you can tell, but all the kids are now stampeding up to the second floor because that was the first floor where we have church services and training. And George got booted out, but I think he's coming back. Um, and he will continue the tour for us. But then we'll be going up to the next level for some one-on-one -on -one and some Bible and some other things. Where did George go? Is he on yet? There he is. It's fun getting to see all the different like angles. Like Diana is here. Rachel has a phone. Clea. These are all caregivers giving us different angles. That's so fun. So much to look at. Thank 
Okay, I think George, you're back. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Hello, Carissa. We, we are going up. But this is the, uh, sorry. Can you tell us what the second floor is? Yes, we are here on the second floor. I hope you are able to see. This is the second floor. And uh, the second floor of this is, uh, this is a, a sitting area uh, where most of the children here, they are uh, fed. Like uh, they will uh, sit here. This is where they are served their meals. It's, it's also a room where they we are doing like an entertainment room. Like you can see there is a, a video, they, they, there's a camera, there's a TV here. And uh, these are the children that were singing and dancing down there. <laughs> down where we are, we are dancing is a kind of, a, we are also using it as a multi-purpose hall. Uh, most of these children are uh, maybe on a Sunday, they are there or whenever we have a function with the visitors, we meet there. So, uh, several caregivers are here that are helping with the kids, a common place. And also, it's also a study today. Uh, I think that is what happens here at the What happens here, maybe you want to say. George, can you go closer so we can hear her? We couldn't hear what she okay. said. Okay. Yeah. Wow, well, at this launch, we have our children here, and it's where the owners uh, play indoor games, they do their homework from this place. At times, they have their fun and spend their time with their friends and eating place. So good. so good. Okay. So uh, we are going to take you into some, some of the rooms that are here. And uh, Pastor Tom, you are there. Can you help us? So what is happening in this room? Like, uh, which room are you standing on? Uh, <laughs> Oh. Okay, who is with them? Okay, can you? Okay, it needs to be encouraged. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can 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 This place is, uh, most of them are always scared with uh, uh, maybe seeing another face or visitors. And all that, in this place, we have two caregivers that help. And I don't know, can you tell us your name? Who are you holding? So, get out to get over. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to move from this place. This is our, where they are putting their clothes. We can go to another room here. Okay, and this is uh, the hall for the kids. Uh, mostly boys, mostly boys. Uh, but now, they, I think the oldest child we have, the boy we have here, should be around uh, 30, 12 years there. Most of them have now transitioned into families. Every child with their bed and every other child is putting all these clothes. They are the ones who are going to arrange it. They are the ones who help. They are helped by the caregivers. You can see how they have organized their, uh, their clothes. Set up everything, the place looks clean, and we are so grateful for this. We can go to the other uh, place. Uh, this is another room here. So on this floor, we have like five rooms. 
the second floor we have five rooms this is also another boys room in case you are wondering uh why are we having boys room uh, one of the things that we have found out that so many babies are being abandoned uh, that they are boys we don't know why but some of the communication that is there is that boys are connected with inheritance <laughs> or uh, or uh, and so for, for, for families that are by maybe finding themselves kind of their poor, they feel like they just want to abandon. That single mother who does not have an inheritance for that child will abandon the child, the boy child, because a girl child probably may be married somewhere and maybe they can try to host, to, to do their best to take, take care of the, that girl. So these are the boys, the, the, the rooms. And then we go to the girl's room. Uh, that's that's what I'm going to say. 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 That's what uh, bed, sheets. bed sheets, yeah. So all these are floors that are on the second floor, and then we are going for another toddler's uh, room here. It is kind of fun to see the rooms, especially if you sponsor a girl at the Dream Center. That's where she's she's spending her time. So fun to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a boys' room. Another boys' room. Ages is what age? Uh, three years to five years. Okay, tell us what happens here. Uh, three years to five years. Uh, I am Jerida and I am the caregiver of these children here. Uh, and I love these children so much and I love my wife. Uh -huh. uh, okay. They are all going to school. Uh -huh. uh, so tell me, which child, uh, like, uh, who and who? Maybe you tell us the name of the ones that this are This one here. is Lewis Mawira. Yeah. This, young, this one is Andy Desmond, Testimony. Yeah. This one is John Mai. Ma you have to see their face. This one is John Yakio. This one is Kilipat Yushindi. This one is Mark Obare. This is Mark Maiko. Uh, and the, this one is Sio Cheng. Oh, Chen Joffrey, oh, Chen. This one is Yoda. Uh, this, this one is uh, Derek. Oh, yes. so all of you know the name of your brothers and sisters. Okay. Judah, have you so, said your name? I want to see each and every other person to go to their bed. Can you show us how you go to your bed? Okay. Climb your bed. Go to your, your bed. bed. Go to your bed. You Assume you want to sleep. Go to your bed. <laughs> okay, go to your bed. Do that. Go to your bed. Ah, okay. Do that. There is a chap here who knows his, his way to the bed. Huh? Okay. Who else? We will come back again for a dance learning. Okay. Okay. So these are the toddler's room. You have seen where your child sleeps in. We are going back, we are going up to the baby's room and we will be coming back for toddler's dance. So keep on and don't just don't leave because we want to see your child dancing. <laughs> While we're talk or while they're walking, I just want to say, Lana, I was just passing on your picture over to Heron and the little boy that you sponsor. And uh, Diana was asking for a picture that he could put on his his bed. I think he was asking for a picture of you. So, um. So I sent her a picture of the screenshot of the video of you guys snuggling together on like the bed. So I hope he uh Well, if you need that. other photos, just let me know. I can send the updated photos of my family, but also photos from when I was there. Yes, all of it. Go ahead. Okay. 
Where do I send it? Just to your email? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Pastor George. Yeah. Okay, we are here, and this is where there is a big matter, baby's room. Yeah. And uh, Diana, kindly take it up. Yeah, this is the baby's room now, which is representing the most floor of the gym center, the second floor. And right now, we are having that gym baby and about 20 toddlers, where he just came from. from and uh, we, we want to, these are some of the caregivers and some of the babies that are here. Some of them are, are, are over six months, so they are able to sit down. And uh, we want a few of the caregivers like, to, tell, to tell us a story of who they are, they are holding and who they are taking care of. The caregivers today, they came for, for this Zoom, so we are having extra hands. Those who are working at night are also. We're going to have to come closer, though. And you're muted. So we want a few of them to just tell us who they are holding and maybe just give us a brief story of, of that baby that they are holding. Maybe we can begin with Rachel at the far end. Hey, hello. I'm holding Tanya, Tanya and Israel. Israel came to us through a child trafficking on a children's home that was closed. So the police placed him in that. When he came, he was very sick and got admitted several times. In fact, there was a time he was admitted. He was sick and the doctors were on strike. So we took him to a hospital which was very far from Nairobi. And that's he was admitted there for some time, and they discovered he was suffering from tuberculosis. So he was put on medication, which lasted uh, six months. He finished his dose yesterday, so he's still be free. Uh, he has gained weight, he's standing, and he's doing very well. So soon he's, he's graduating from the baby's room to the third class. And we thank God for that. We Did you say that his name is Israel? Um, yes, he's Israel. Uh, for anyone who can support the emergency fund to help cases like Israel gets so many cases, kids come with different ailments and they really need hospital attention first and we don't really have that money at hand. So if we can get some money, any amount coming in monthly or a one-time donation that can be placed on our emergency funds to help kids here, which will really help. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, give us, they do a great job. They, they work uh, 12 hours uh, in their schedule and either they are working during the day or at night, if they report to work at six, uh, at, uh, at six in the evening, they leave the next day at eight. And if they, the, then the other shift begins at eight up to 12 in the evening. And sometimes when we have sick babies or, or a time like now we are doing Zoom, we will require them to be here early to help with some of them, like taking care of some babies, when others are busy doing something else. So supporting caregivers is really a big thing that you can consider to do and to help with that, uh, with all that they do. They are just such a great uh, treasure. And thank you to all those of you that are supporting the work that caregivers do. So we can also hear so an, about another baby that Claire is holding. She's going to introduce her to us. Hello. Hello, I'm Claire, Claire. and here I'm She was dressed at midnight with the very head blood. She was brought by the police. Beginner, we switch to us. 
She was brought by the police, a twin tender, when she was one month old. You have been with her with five months, and she is doing well. She can see without her support. And we are winning her, and she's very healthy. Thank you very much for your support. May God bless you. Mm -hmm. you tell us, okay. <clears throat> can you tell us the baby's name again, please? Tell us the baby's name. Anikon. Anikoni. Oh, Anikoni. Did you get that? Yes, Anikoni. thank you. Yeah, that's Anikoni. Okay. And then maybe maybe we can also Janet can also tell us about who she's holding and introduce herself and introduce the baby that she's holding. Yeah. My name is Janet. And with me, I'm I'm holding Cheryl Pendo. Pendo is a Swahili name meaning love. And uh Cheryl was rescued outside the dream center. And when she was taken in, she, uh, when she was about to be weaned, she developed some complications. She couldn't digest the food that she was being given, and so she was taken to a specialist. <clears throat> that one also caused her stomach to really kind of bloat and swell. So she was taken to a specialist uh, because also she could not use formula and cow's milk. So from the specialist, now uh, he recommended that Cheryl be given a uh, camel's milk, and that's what she's been feeding on up to now. And as you can see right now, she's really gained a lot of weight, and she's normally a very jovial girl, very happy, always smiling. And right now she's around nine months. By uh, at fourteen, on that fourteen, she'll be turning ten months old. And she right now she sits on her own. She has not yet begun teething, but she's on the process. And we want to say thank you so much for all that have been supporting, sharing, and also the caregivers for the good work that is being done here. Thank you. Yeah. So I don't know, Beatrice, what else did you have? Like you had that uh, someone wanted to share their story. Yes. One of the one of the older kids or two of them, they will be telling us about their, something about themselves. Hi. Hi, my name is Richard Masinde, I'm 10 years old. I want to tell you about myself. My name, when I come at the dream center, I have learned something better. I know how to wash utensils, change the babies and even to feed them. I love to play with the brothers and sisters Thank you for your support. May God bless you. Amen. Clap <laughs> for him. Please. Yes. My name is Taibi Arima and I have a memory verse. Second Kings chapter 2 verse 11. He says, my father, my father, mighty defender of Israel, you are gone. Mm -hmm. My name is San Kadambi and I have a memory verse. Ephesians 6 1. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your mother and father, for this is the first commandment to the promise. Thank you. My name is Ruben and I have a memory verse. Matthew 7 1. It says, Do not judge others so that God will not judge you. My name is John Amani, and I have a memory. John 11, 35, it says, Jesus said. Okay. My name is Matthew David, and I have a memory verse. Proverbs 10, verse 4, it says, being lazy, will make you poor, but hard working will make you rich. Wow. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Desmond Akin and I have a memory verse. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. He said, For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's our Lord. Amen. Great. Okay.
Okay. okay. So we have one more story here of Uma. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is Linet. Linet is one of the caregivers. And she wants to tell us who she is holding and give us their story. This is one of the biggest stories at the DC. And some of the kids we are highlighting, they are a great motivation for us for this work because they we have seen a very long journey that they have come. And it, we, we knew these children would not be alive. They would not be here with us, but just to see that they are there and they are thriving is a huge motivation. So Lynette, just tell us. Hi, I'm Lynette Kerr. I'm holding Caleb Jude. Caleb Jude is estimated to be two years old. He was rescued beside the rally, the rally, train, rally train. At the railway line. The railway yeah. line where he was abandoned by somebody. Somebody. And he was rescued. And when he was brought, brought to the Dream Center, he was estimated to be, he was weighing two k, less than two kgs. He was very tiny. No, no one was willing to handle him. But when he was brought here, he was taken to the hospital. He was he has been admitted for several times. And we thank God Caleb is doing well. He was he was found to be with the cleft pallet. He was put in, he was some he was put on special formula which enable him to be strong although he has not been although he has not been born for operation but we hope soon god willing when he will be weighing 10 kgs he will go for operation so that he so that the let so that the palace plate can be rectified rectified now Caleb is healthy he can eat any food He's jovial, he crawls, he stands under support. Yeah. And even if you see him, he has many teeth in, her, in his mouth, around 16. Uh -huh. But we thank God for him and all the sponsors who have been supporting his medication up to this time. May God bless you. Yeah. I think he started crawling like when he was maybe one and a half years old. And sometimes we would, we would find him under the couch. You're looking for him and he has crawled and God under the couch. So he is like a, a boy who is, who, who is a go-getter. Like when you think this is the end of this child, then he shows you something else. And we are so excited that this child who, whom we had even thought at, at one point that he might not make it is alive today and doing so well. We can't wait for who he will be in the future. And if you would like to support any of these kids that because the DC, the, the older kids that have just talked now that Desmond is our oldest boy who is nine. So we are having kids who are zero to nine years old, 60 of them right now at the Dream Center. And you see like this is the end of the year. If you would like to bless them with toys, like uh, bicycles or baby walkers, like for the smaller kids, Sometimes the small kids, they have, um, the small kids, they have their milestones, they take very long. Like they start to walk when they are even two years or one and a half years, even sometimes when they are healthy. So sometimes when we have toys like a baby walker, it can help them to strengthen their muscles for their legs. And like this time of Christmas can be a good time to give gifts like that, bicycles, balls, or, or baby walkers, or any other gift that the kids can have, or even a Christmas bonus for the caregivers who are doing a lot and they are helping these kids in, in the best way they know how. Your gift is very much welcome. Maybe Mary can also tell us about Tiana, because Tiana is another baby at the gym center that has had a journey. Hello, I am Mary. I am holding Tiana. She was abandoned at the restaurant. When she... Okay, I am Mary. I am holding Tiana. She was abandoned at the restaurant place with her mother. So 
When she left her, we rescued her and we brought her in a dream center. When Diana was rescued, she was a mal malnutrition, underweight, but now we introduced her to, to nutritional food. Now she is okay. Her hair was like a uh, fur, but now she's, she's looking good and uh, she can walk and she's very healthy. And we thank you. When we rescued her, she was eight months, but now she's around one and uh, around one and four months. Now she's okay. She can uh, move, she can run, even she can feed herself. And we thank you all for your support. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe we can look at the baby rooms, how they look like mm -hmm. before we go down for a dance. The toddlers want to give us a dance. Okay, okay. That's just how we can come with the light. Sponsors uh, or up. people who are just online here, feel free to put your hand up or unmute and ask a question. Anything like that is welcome. We can go back and forth. They say their names so quick. Sometimes I have to be listening pretty hard to hear their actual names because they say them so fast. <sighs> I have a question. Go ahead. I was just wondering on how um, um, oh, is it Warner's doing. Did you guys hear that question? She's asking about Warner. Oh, we can't hear George. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good Okay. Diana is here. She is, can say, okay, answer the question. He's doing very well right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead and talk about uh, what. I've forgotten his story. You know, okay. So many okay. You call Rachel. This one was abandoned at the hospital, but. Uh, Maybe you can finish your story. Okay. As uh, we are getting the updates, uh, this is the baby room. You can see. Uh, this is the, uh, the baby room. Thank you so much, great sponsors, for what you do. Look at how uh, this is where the caregiver would uh, sleep. <laughs> This is how they have uh, arranged the the clothes. What amazing! The toys on the other side, and uh, yeah, the washing area is here. Yeah. Uh, before anybody comes in, uh, we, we can find the uh, in, in informations are here. Yes, okay. Yeah. Maybe I can just talk a bit about. Yes, you can come because and start. I had I had forgotten that uh, one a chacha, you know we are having several babies at the DC that have uh, developed intolerance for formula and the one chacha has been one of them actually for him because the formula he needed was very expensive we had to stop it completely and win him to porridge when he was nine months five months when he was five months. And he is right now he's using camel's milk and the porridge and some and lots of fruits to be able to help with his uh, with his diet. But he, he definitely he's much better than how he was when he was having this intolerance to the formula. We thank you so much. The person who sponsors Wana, thank you so much. You're welcome. He's actually named after my late grandpa. Oh, well, that's so great to know. Yeah, yeah. thank you. He likes You're to suck at all his fingers. You can see the whole uh -huh. hand is inside his mouth. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You want to tell us some? Okay. 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 Yeah, Virginia can come. They have a room. Okay. We are here at the toddler's room. And yes, the baby's room. Yes, babies. Oh, the baby's room. Yes. Okay. They are bringing another story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Okay, Sasha Light. Good light. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are here with Virginia. Virginia, who are you holding? I'm holding Joy Money. Joy Money. Yeah. Okay, tell us a little bit Imani. about Joy Money Joy. Okay. Joy Imani was abandoned at the roadside. And her passerby noticed her. He rescued, he rescued her and reported the matter to the police. Then the police called and we rescued her. She is now six months. She has started winning. She's good and she has a good appetite. She has two teeth, tiny teeth on her lower. Jo, yeah, she can raise up her head when she's sleeping. She can sit on her own. And we are all grateful for sponsors who make stories of joy, like stories like that of Joy Imani to work out simply because of a giving hand. Thank you all. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah, so at the Dream Center, we have two baby rooms. And so this is another baby room. You can see we having lots of pampas. Thank you so much, the sponsors that yeah. you are giving every month. Can you imagine every day? I don't know how many bottles of water, of, of, of milk do we use? Formula? The formula milk, yes. Maybe uh, I mean, what I can say is how much a baby uses. Okay. They use like, uh, they use one, t when they are infants like this, they use one tin for three days. Mm. And how Alone. much is that? How much is that? And this formula is 1,500 Kenyan shillings. Around $10. They allow around $10. Then when they continue to grow older, they reach a point where they are using this one tin per day. So we win them. We can't keep them on the formula. We win them to cow's milk and uh, porridge. <laughs> and so now we are good to go. But then the, we really are very grateful for the uh, the way we are able to buy this formula and sustain the kids with the formula because majority of them have thrived with that with that formula. We we have children's homes in Kenya that don't afford formula, and they give their children cow's milk, and cow's milk is very intolerant to their tummies. So we are very grateful that we can be able to give all the babies at the Dream Center formula for the first six months of their life. So thank you so much for, for that. And this is Evander Gray, in case, in case the, the sponsor for Evander Gray is there. This child, somebody, somebody just went to the police station and just left this baby there. Mm. Just that, and the police station stormed inside and left the baby there. And in Kenya, they, you, you are allowed to do something like that because uh, otherwise you go and leave the baby at the, at the, at the dam site or, or wherever by the roadside where the baby may not survive. So you can leave the baby at the, at the police station and they will not force you to take up the baby because you still abandon that child wherever you can. You give them a chance to be able to do that. So Evander is right now one month and one week. And we are so excited that the DC gets to take care of this baby and that you get to sponsor him to be to, to start growing up and be a healthy boy as he's growing. So thank you so much. Okay. So we are going down where the, the toddlers are singing, the children are singing. We are going to hear some more singing. In case you have any question, feel free to ask. <laughs> Maybe Trying to keep track of all the kids' names so that I can send them Maybe. out to the sponsors who weren't able to be here. So that's why I keep asking, what was that name again? What was that name again? <laughs> they say it so fast. But I think I'm keeping up. <laughs> okay, Maybe so we are in our... Oh, just one. 
We are in our kitchen. This is a baby. Is a kitchen for babe to prepare some meal. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. This we boil, we boil meat here and we porridge here and then baby food here. And this is our small fridge for the baby room. We don't put a lot of formula here, we don't do a lot of refrigeration. And this is our freezer. Then we have a bigger kitchen downstairs. Mm. So this one is just related for the 13 babies that are on the upper floor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down and yeah. And so this freezer, the fridge, and every other thing that you see here is here courtesy of your sponsorship. Yeah. You are ensuring that children's milk are warm, uh, yeah. their food is built in point and everything. Uh, can you just imagine that children are having their home care yeah. because of your monthly support? God bless you. you. You can check. This is a sample of the camel's milk. This is how the camel's milk look like. This, all these bottles, this is camel's milk. Then they, because we need to refrigerate it to freeze it when we make the order. And then several babies that have the intolerance are the ones that are using this one. And can you imagine in Kenya, uh, we can have availability of camel's milk easier than goat's milk. Because we have the savanna land in Kenya in a place called Garissa. So all this is local milk. It is cheaper than almonds milk because almonds is, uh, is imported. It doesn't come from Kenya. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Your sponsorship is enabling these this babies to get even a different type of milk than just cow's milk. Thank you so much. So just to clarify, they do use cow's milk, but some babies' um, tummies react to it. And so instead of getting almond milk or oat milk or um, goat milk, they the best option is actually camel milk. So it's kind of interesting. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> OK. Ladies. The first time they told us that they were using camel milk, my mom and I both were just like, camel? <laughs> like a camel? It's kind of funny. Thank 
Pronto, siga nada só foi o que fala. These are the toddlers, uh, some of the older kids that we have. Uh, pastor Simon uh, is a pastor, Dono, and uh, musician as well. We are so glad that he's able here to sing. Yeah, maybe something that you want to say about what was happening here today, Pastor Amen. Simon. It's good to understand with these awesome, beautiful children. What a beautiful song these children are. Amazing people. And we have to train up the way the children should go so that when they grow, they will never be far away from this. And we are teaching them faith and how to grow. It's an amazing thing to do. Yeah. So at the Deep Center, we are not just uh, providing children with care, but also we provide them with spiritual nourishment where every, every week uh, they find opportunity to be taught the word of God, they worship God, and uh, from the report that we have, the children that have come from this, uh, from a home of hope and maybe gone into foster families, they are leading the way. Yesterday, we visited a home of a child that has been placed in a family. And uh, we, we were able to notice that. They are the ones singing. They are the ones coming with memory verses. They are the ones praying and even challenging the children that have been raised in that home. What a great foundation that we are offering the children and this is happening because of your love and because of your support. Thank Another you. Another thing that we do is that like these children now, we are having uh, Joshua here. Joshua, you can stand up. We are having Joshua, we are having Rosabella, Isabella, and we are having, we're having Gracie, and we are having Wairimo. Wairimo, they are children who are now no longer at the Dream Center, but they are in a family unit. So we don't also bring children to the dream center so that they can stay in an institution. We try as much as we can so that children are placed in a family setup and they can be raised now with a dad and a mom, or even if it is just a single parent, 
but that these children can, cannot remain in the institution. Joshua, would you like to say thank you so much to those? We, we want to say thank you so much to those who sponsor Joshua. He has special needs and even he needs therapy every month and he gets this therapy. So thank you so much. Do you want to say thank you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Which grade are you now, Joshua? Yeah. Grade two. Grade two. Okay. Yeah, Joshua is 20 years old, but he is still in grade two because of uh, his condition. He's not able to move at the same pace like others. Yeah. So, Sabella, do you want to say thank you so much? Do you like where you do you like the family unit where you stay? What do you like very much? Well, he's taking, he's taking. Okay. And this is why we want to say thank you so much. You say your name and you say thank you. 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 Uh, yeah, thank okay. you. Thank you so much for all these children. As we continue to bring them up here, we look for families for them, even families to foster them so that they can also move from the dream center and stay in a family and they can their lives can be more close to normal than just remaining in an institution. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the baby's room. They want to show to do a free dance. Okay, maybe do we have her on here? Aaron, yeah, Aaron, Aaron come. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron. Okay, it's mama. mama. Okay, tell us, Aaron, your name, which school are you, which grade, and who do you want to become when you grow up? Seva Jena, Aaron. Right, Ronani? Yes? Uh, Aaron is sad. Yeah, <laughs> Aaron is shy here. Okay. But we are so grateful uh, for the sponsor to Aaron. May God really bless you for everything that you are doing towards Aaron. And uh, I know you, his rest story is a story also to uh, to to remember. But yeah, look at him. Yeah, look at him right, right now. He's doing well. Okay, and uh, some of us also are here. Some of the I, I see maybe you are sponsoring a child that are in a family unit. Some of the family unit uh, children are not here, uh, and uh, we are looking forward to a time yeah. when we can uh, share their stories, photos while they are in their homes. I think that will be the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can I say hi to Aaron? Okay. Question. Can I say hi to Aaron? and see if he can see oh, my face. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen him since he was very, very little. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I know you're very shy. I know you don't like pictures and videos, so I'm hoping I can come see you soon, okay? I said about Atacuda. Atacuda went to pull a gypsy. Yeah, he's waiting. He's waiting when you come. He's ready for chips, some fries, and some chicken. Absolutely. We'll do all the things. Everything that I can possibly fit in, we will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lana, for your support towards uh, Aaron and. Uh, we know that you are here and we are looking forward. Yeah. We are looking forward to see you soon. Yes, hopefully. Within six months is a hope. So sure. All right. Okay. I love you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. We can bring Kadoli. Kadoli, okay. How are the twin um how are the twin sisters doing that I sponsor? Oh, the twin sister. Yeah, I'd like to see how they're doing. 
Okay, I can stay where you are. Laura, we just want to hop on here. Um, you sponsor twin girls in Rwanda, so that's just they're not going to be there in Kenya. Oh, oh, oh Maria, sorry. <laughs> no worries. There is twin girls though at the Dream Center, so they're going to pull up Maya and Naya, but those ones are <laughs> they're not the same. Okay. The twin sisters. Okay. Oh. Okay, talk about the two sisters for a moment and yes, then we can does. come back. Okay, okay, maybe just to introduce this group yeah. where at Cadolines and also the twin sisters. This is where we are having the, the kids that are there. They are one year to three years. And now they know uh, they know a lot. They can be able to know strangers and strange beings. And they, they don't have nothing to do with these cameras and the spotlights and everything. And everyone is screaming here. <laughs> but but uh, Mike and Nana, they are here. They are the ones who are crying there. And uh, Maya, my Naya and Maya is uh, that's that's Maya and this is Naya here. Maya, Naya, how are you? That's uh, Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. okay, they are the twin sisters. Yeah. Okay. These are the twins, and they were left by their mother. We, we just heard that their mother was being drugs no, 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 no. and trafficking. And so she would lock them in the house and leave them. So there was no one to care for them. And uh, so they were rescued and brought to the Dream Center. And they are such beautiful girls. We are yeah, grateful to we are grateful to anybody who would like yeah, to sponsor them. Yeah, they are the ones who, who among those who don't have sponsorship yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bring Kadoli. We just allow you to put camera. Now smile, eh? Yeah. Come, I don't know. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Put your name up. And this is Kadoli. Uh, yeah, this is Kadoli. And her story is that one of child trafficking. She's among one of four kids at the DC that is a case of child trafficking. She has had a, she, she broke her leg and for the other day and she was on a cast, but now she's fully healed. We want to say thank you so much to her sponsor. Thank you so much for what you are doing. Consider she's growing up to become healthy and strong. Uh, and even she thought that she got healed very fast. So we want to say thank you so much for what you are doing. Okay. Hello, Kadali. Uh, can you can you guys bring her back? Okay, Kadali, Kadali, come. Hi, Kadali. Hello. Oh, she's beautiful. She's so precious. Walking pretty good too. Yes, she brings my mom a lot of joy. My mom is has her picture on the fridge, and she's happy to talk about Kadali to anyone that comes over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's got a little care package coming her way soon. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you for introducing us. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And this is Tiffany. Tiffany is smiling. She wasn't smiling two weeks ago. So we are very grateful. This this baby is over two years. And uh, when she came, 
over two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, she couldn't sit down or even like uh, hold her muscles or things like that. So, but then staying at the DC, she has, she has been neglected. We had that whoever was taking care of her would just leave her. And then eventually she left her in a daycare center where she stayed for one month and nobody came to get her or anything. And she would just be left sleeping. She slept the whole day or whatever. Even her head, I think on this side, you can see she was just lying on her back throughout. Mm -hmm. But then she is now doing so well, she has started to sit down at the DC and to smile. So we want to say thank you so much for what this is doing. This child does not have sponsorship. If you would like to sponsor her, it costs 120 US dollars to be able to sponsor a baby at the DC to cater for her food, medication, clothes, and all the other things that the, the little baby. They need children and babies. I don't know if you said, yeah. but this is the little girl who had a spinal cord injury, correct? Yeah. This is the one. This is the girl. But you know, like we have continued to take her to the hospital for the diagnosis of that. It still hasn't been fully like recognized what she may be having. But I think those people who have seen her have said that the majority of this, she may not even have any problem with her spine. It could just be negligence that is causing all that. So we want to see how that goes. And uh, then we will be able to know. She seems like to not be able to use one of her hands. But uh, we, we think that maybe with care, she might just not be having any problem. Yeah, so we want to see how that goes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any question that could be there? I think we are almost, Carissa, anything you want us to do, let us know. <laughs> yes. Hi, do any of the kids have any questions for us too? Oh, I think uh, Brian was coming on. Hi, Krista. This is looking really, really good. Enjoying it. We've been watching for a bit. And uh, yeah. thank you, all you sponsors who sponsor so faithfully. Thanks for all the hard working of Pastor George, Diana, and all the caregivers and the nurse. And rescuing babies is a lot of work. And rescuing babies costs a lot of money, more than I ever, ever thought. With all the not just the food and clothes, but the medical emergencies and the government regulations and just appreciate all of you. And I'm looking forward to going over November the 11th. Uh, our plane ticket is booked and we'll be heading right to the Dream Center. One of the first things we do when we arrive. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Chris, a good job. This is fun. It is fun, yes. <laughs> uh, my face is gonna hurt from smiling for two straight hours. <laughs> 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 okay okay we can maybe we can go back again and do some some more last part of singing <laughs> i do have kind of a question about christmas diana was talking about christmas um packages oh, oh. and um yeah. what does it look like with so many kids like is it just like chaos or how do you guys manage giving Christmas gifts to the kids? Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. Our Christmas gifts are the two best. Maybe you can come over this side. Okay, we can start here. Okay, they're so loud. They're trying to get to a quieter spot. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, there. What you got? Well, there. When you're in and now they can oh yeah we we were requesting that uh, we were requesting we we are very very grateful to all, all the people that give the donations and also the christmas presents for the kids maybe just to say how christmas is different kenya and canada 
is that in Kenya or in Africa, I can also speak to Africa. Christmas really means like you eat good food and you wear nice clothes. That is what it means. So you will realize even majority of the money that gets sent for a Christmas present for a child, we will buy clothes because the kids, they really feel very good when they are wearing this new outfit. Maybe it has um, a, a tag, what, what do they, call? maybe like, like Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, it may not be the original, but it has, it is an imitation of that or, or something. So the kids are very excited about wearing new clothes, new shoes and having good food. But we, we were saying that uh, like, if it were possible, for sponsors to be able to give the Christmas presents in the month of uh, November, it, it, in the month of November, it would be very, very good because like you can see, we are having 60 kids here and each one has their specific needs. Some of the kids, they know exactly what they want, like clothes, they know what they like. They like tights, they don't want a dress, they want something specific. When the money comes in December, it is very, there's a lot of hassle and bustle. And we are not able to meet that target or to buy something that that, that is very pleasing for the child. So sometimes we can even buy the present and we send back the report to Canada. We showed that we bought those, but like on this other side, we missed a mark somewhere. So maybe to be able to balance between that, it would be very good if that money could come in the month of November, in the in the beginning of the month of November, so that we have like two weeks to be able, or three weeks in the month of November to care for the kids and buy whatever is, is, is needed here for the kids and send back the reports as is needed. And also for the for the caregivers, the caregivers, they, some of them you find that they are having large families, you can even have a caregiver who is a single mother and they have five kids of their own. They don't have a husband. So when they give that gift of even $50, like you're, you're told that you're going to have a gift voucher of $50 and you're just doing that shopping, it is food stuff. They are so excited. Like you just made their Christmas. So it is very much appreciated. And if it can come a bit earlier for planning, that would be so good. And thank you so much for everything that you are doing. We really appreciate it. We know that we wouldn't have been able to do anything at all, at all, without the great need that is here. But now that you answered to the call and wanted to support and to give and to help these babies, me for me, I can say my life is fully transformed since I started doing this work because it, it gives me so much joy. I am very fulfilled by what I do. And when I can see a baby who came, who was given over for death, and then this baby lived, they didn't die. I'm telling you, it just makes my day. So we are very, very, we, we also can't be, we also like here, we also, we can't believe when we hold the babies that somebody wanted them dead or they didn't want them. We also don't understand it. So we are very excited that we also get to be a part of this and, and help these children live and, and transition and, and enjoy life. Thank you. Yeah. Diana, I just want to say, you no, don't leave. <laughs> don't, unless you're trying to not cry, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for all that you do. Your heart for the kids is amazing. And um, I just love what you said that when the, we can't believe that the baby was thrown away and now they live. That was just really touching. Um, one of the sponsors just asked in the chat what the typical cost is for or for outfits for Christmas. We here in Canada are raising 30 Canadian. Um, and is that a good amount for you to be able to find good outfits for the kids? We, we, would, we would really like recommend for 50 because 50 you can be able to get something very nice and something new, something new, because also you find that the kids, sometimes we buy for them secondhand clothes. That's that's majority of what we manage with, like day to day, whenever we are buying data clothes, but Christmas time, we can buy a new outfit. It has a tag, a new tag. And they can even boast, like for some of them who are going to school, they can say, 
I've got I've got a new t-shirt or a new trouser, and they even have that one cost is that we'll we'll even have the shoes. They will have an outfit and they will have new shoes. And that's very, very like that's very, very important for the kids. Yes, and something else to add that on a Christmas Eve, yeah, like these children, if you buy them gift, they will sleep with it on the bed. <laughs> Like yeah. they want to wake up in the morning, tomorrow is Sunday, and they everybody they want to do and remove. That's why bringing the gift before that Christmas Eve night or morning yeah. is really yeah. because it's happening in the community and everybody. Yeah. Like on Sunday, even a child that was not going to go to church, mm -hmm. but because of that gift, especially those gift shoes that have got some lights. On, on them. They sparkle. They sparkle. I'm telling you, they are going to walk all night. <laughs> and get sparkles yeah. in their bed. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's really yeah. sweet. Thank you so much for all you guys do for that. I know it's a lot of work. Yeah. Not just getting kids yeah. at the Dream Center um, clothes, but also all the sponsored kids that were helping in the slum and in Nairobi, the family units. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And Kara, Karisa, this applies also to the children that we are uh, uh, helping in the slum. And Pastor Sam is doing a good job. Pastor Sam, can you just come and say something here? He's really doing a great work with uh, maybe there could be sponsors here that are sponsoring children in the community. Pastor Sam is our uh, sponsor child coordinator. And uh, can just want to say what's the experience, Pastor Sam. Hi, everyone. We thank you for all you do, the sponsorship you do to the slum children. Mostly when these gifts are given, the first time kids get their mattresses, they get their shoes, they are very always very happy. And uh, they always look to us the Christmas Eve, and we always pray for the sponsors so that God can continue blessing them to be a blessing to these families. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. And when you send your sponsorship support for Christmas, Pastor Sam will ensure that they are gotten on time and the caregivers do their best. And uh, the first week of January, you get the updates and the smile on the children's faces of how they got to enjoy the Christmas experience through their support. God bless you. We pray for you. May the Lord bless your businesses, your, your job, and as you give to the children, as, as you refresh others, may you be refreshed as well. Thank you, Samuel, for all you do. You do such a great job. Even from, from my perspective of emailing back and forth and all that, you just do a great job. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are going back for some uh, little bit singing and then... In case there will be any question you'll bring, but I think we are almost getting towards the end. Is it right, Car Carissa? Hey, yes, Carissa. I think... Go ahead. Has, uh, has Gerald asked a question or Bruno? Not yet, but you guys are welcome Gerald. to ask any question. <laughs> I, I would suggest you record too, Chris, a few minutes. It's recording. Oh, it is. It didn't ask me to re uh, say anything. Hey, Gerald. Could you turn on your microphone and what do you what do you think of all that you see? Oh, I just I just love uh, all the kids uh, and all the caregivers and and uh, love to see that they're uh, well looked after and and uh, uh, getting all the needs fulfilled that they have and it's it's just a real blessing to be a part of it and uh, uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity. <laughs> How many years ago were you with me at the Dream Center? I think it was 2016. Wow, so eight years ago. Yeah, well, since you've been there, we've been rescuing and rescuing. I think, we, I think we've almost set a record, Diana, of 10 rescued babies the last two months. I think that's the most busiest stretch we've ever had. So it's not getting less. People are throwing away their babies more than ever. And we're, we're uh, spreading even to different slums in Nairobi, so... But thank you, Gerald and Janine, your wife, for your wonderful sponsorship and just greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah, and th thanks to all the other sponsors as well, because it, it 
it uh, takes takes a lot to to uh, raise a village there, and uh, and uh, yeah, for all the caregivers that are dedicating their lives to to raising these kids, because they have families of their own, and they're they're pouring their lives into those kids as well. So it's a it's a real blessing, and uh, thank you all. Thank you so much. Uh, I see Bruno on. Bruno, can you turn on your camera for a minute? I know maybe it's Saturday morning and you're with your family. But uh, Bruno just read my book a month or so ago. And uh, there you are, Bruno. Good to see you. Hello from the um, the States. Can you turn on your microphone? Do you have any questions or comments? I don't know how long you've been on, but uh, so, so good to see you. Yeah, you got to turn on your microphone somehow. Is there anybody else, Krista, that hasn't made? Oh, there you go. There, Bruno, go ahead. Uh, oh, we no, can't we hear you. Can't. No, it says your microphone is on, but it's not working. Bruno is uh, just new to Red Deer, read my book, and he's coming to our Baba College for uh, two mornings a week. So it's great to build his friendship. Is there anybody else that's online that hasn't made any comments at all, Krista? I'm um, just Jody, but it looks like they just stepped away. She, she's okay. been there with her kids. It's been great. There's and I think Lisa. that's it. I think everybody else has. Um, Lisa, no, Lisa hasn't. Oh, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, I, I'm i so glad that I can, that God has blessed me to be a part of the Dream Center again. I just want to thank everyone and just to keep the courage and just know that God is with you. And yeah, he's so great. He's always faithful and just, I love you all too. And I always pray for you. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Lisa. Bruno, do you want to try it again? No. Okay, we are going to have some song. One keep trying, song. Bruno. And we'll come back. Okay, good. George, go ahead. Sing a song. Spread us. Can you spy to do this? Do you pass me to do this? I'm inspired to do this. Give us your love, 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 give us your I like Joshua, I like Joshua, Okay, one more time, Pastor. Give us another one, Pastor. 
Bless the Lord, my soul. Too bad the sound is not really good. Okay, can you celebrate Jesus? Okay, from the from the Dream Center family, we want to say thank you so much, the sponsors, every other person that came online. It is because of your support and because of your, your prayer that we do what we are able to do. Uh, we know that the journey of Home of Hope, especially in Kedah, started like a small step of faith. And today we are talking of 60, over 60 children that are here. And uh, the children that are staying in the families, we were just looking at our records, foster homes. They are now going to around uh, uh, 80, 80 and above. And then we are having children who are in family units. These are children who are doing so well. And uh, I know next time we are going to share the stories of those children who are in family units. So, Hope of Hope, a dream center, is taking care of these babies and ensuring that they get homes that are caring. It couldn't have been that way if it were not by your support. We pray for you. We wish you all the best. And uh, I know Dream Center page is full of rescue stories. In case you want to still follow up more about what we do, kindly follow up Home of Hope Dream Center. And every day is a rescue day. As we say, we, are, we can't send any child that has been left uh, on the street to die. That is our push and that is our call every day. We receive those calls to ensure that every child, no child is meant to die. And these spaces that you have seen here is because somebody had the call and went and somebody had the, the, the cry and uh, you supported and now they can enjoy this life. May God bless you. Pastor Brian, wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, I know yesterday was your birthday. From here, maybe Pastor uh, Simon, can we just sing happy birthday to Pastor Brian? <laughs> happy birthday. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> happy birthday. Wow. It's <laughs> a long birthday song.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pastor Brian. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So, Pastor Brian, what they are saying is that they are waiting for that big cake when you come. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was that was Chris's idea. Yes, and yeah, we'll have Ghana. a big cake for my birthday and let them all have a piece of cake for sure. <laughs> yes. So, Pastor Brian, it's because of uh, you hearing. God's call and coming to Africa. That's why these wonderful children are here alive. May God bless you for hearing God's voice and honoring God to come to Africa and uh, push and support the children that need this support. We pray for you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bruno, do you want to try your microphone one more time or is it not working? No, we see your mouth moving, but you're, uh, we can't hear anything. Chris, thanks for putting this all together. This is amazing and so much fun. And uh, maybe everybody could uh, share the link. I don't know if you're going to post this or part of it on Facebook, but if anybody could you know, share it, uh, it's amazing how someone can tell someone's friend. And um, we just had a gift of uh, money come from the U.S. because someone told a friend they would have never heard of Home of Hope in the U.S. without someone just spreading the word. So that's another way everybody can help. And thank you again, all you wonderful caregivers, and we'll see you and uh, have a great conference with you soon. So good. Well, I was just going to say that lots of this, uh, the like songs and things are so special, but it's so much better to be there in person. So if you ever want to go on a trip, apply. It's just on our website. And it, being there in that room is so much different than this Zoom, but Zoom is all we can do from our homes, right? So we're doing what we can, but if you want to go there in person, it's a hundred times better to be with them, dancing, singing. It's fun. So just wanted to say that. We're looking for a team in February and in April and next November. So there's three confirmed teams next year so far. Okay. okay, good job, Carissa. Um, one of the people on just did a chat that says, thank you to all the staff and caregivers. What a big responsibility and big heart to do this very important work. Thank you. Oh, they had a little private chat? Uh, no, it's just in the chat. Just reading it oh. out loud for everybody to see. Very good. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bless you. Thank you bye so bye. much, everybody. I'll send out the uh, link to the recording. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> okay. They are saying bye bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>